17-year-old Dutch Noah Pothoven is the most recent case in the debate for right to life. Many questioning whether it was assisted suicide or euthanasia that led to her death. Having a terminal illness, being given a limited time to live, or unbearable suffering. These are all reasons one can request euthanasia or assisted suicide in the Netherlands. Father Gonzalo Miranda, an expert on euthanasia in Rome, explains that while morally both are a means to an end, legally they're viewed differently. For a legal point of view, it is very important because in some places euthanasia isn't legal, but assisted suicide is. He says when the state does not uphold the dignity of life, an unnecessary pressure is created. This young 17-year-old girl who just committed suicide in Holland, she had a series of problems and a temptation to kill herself. When she finds an environment in society that says it's a right, if you want euthanasia, you have a right to it. This creates a terrible pressure. He asserts a definition of who is able to die and when is established. If a person is young, healthy or useful, the state automatically gives them a greater dignity than an older person who is in deteriorating health. We have two types of citizen, Group A and Group B. For some, we have to protect their life, even against their will. For others, no. Pope Francis also tweeted after Noah's death, saying euthanasia and assisted suicide are a defeat for all. We are called never to abandon those who are suffering, never giving up, but caring and loving to restore hope. In the United States, physician-assisted suicide is legal in some states, and suicide is the second most leading cause of death for people ages 10 to 34. At the Vatican, Melissa Butts, Currents News.